In this presentation, we're going to look at landed cost for Microsoft Dynamics NAV. First, we see at estimated method, overhead rate, and percentage of indirect cost, and then at the actual method with charge items. So first, let's look at the overhead rate. We create a new item. So quickly, we're going to use a template to make it quick. Okay, we need just a unit of measure. Okay, let's say that we going to buy it for ten dollars, and we put a overhead rate one dollar. So it means a fixed indirect cost of one dollars. So let's create a purchase order. So we're going to use just simply location blue to make it quick. So 10, 10 items of $10 each and we post. Okay, now that it's done, let's go back to the item card and see the result. Now our, our unit cost has been updated to $11. Last direct cost is still $10. And we have a cost of $110 for our 10 items, which is part of direct cost, $100, and $10 for indirect cost. Now let's look at the second estimated method, the percentage of indirect cost. So as we did before, we create quickly a new item. And as we did before, we're going to buy it at for ten dollars. But here we're going to put five percent of indirect cost. We create a new purchase order. We want ten of these items, so it's going to be $100 in our purchase order, and we post. Let's go to the item card to see the result. So now our unit cost has been updated to 10 point five dollars our ledger entries so cost amount actual is one hundred and five we could display also the cost amount expected which is gonna be zero here but if you just received your item but you haven't received your invoice it would show on the expected so let's go to the value entries and we find our $100 for direct cost and $5 indirect cost. Now let's look at the actual method that use charge items. So 
So again, we quickly create our item. We did as we did before, ten dollars, and we don't, we don't put anything else here. Now let's create a purchase order for again for ten of this item. Okay, we're just missing the unit of measure. I forgot to put it, so I'll set that up quickly. And we'll be good to post it. Okay, now we're going to record some charge item. Let's say we receive um, some freight for a freight invoice, and we're going to relate that to the item that we have received. So we create a purchase invoice, and this time, so let's put it a bit later, fifteenth uh, of. October will be good. So we'll put a charge item. And here on the list, we're going to select some freight. Let's say the invoice is $40 x VAT GST. Okay, and we're going to functions, uh, to lines, item, charge, assignment. Then on the actions, we're going to get received lines. We see all the received, all the past received. We select the one we just received. Suggest item charge. There is just one line here, so it doesn't make any difference. And we post. Okay, before we go back to the item card, let's, let's create a final, uh, another invoice. We put a, a different date. As we did before, we use a type charge item and we're going to select something else like a restock charge. Yep. Yeah. Uh, $30 this time as we did line item charge assignment action is still a receipt but we could use that on the sales shipment and transfers okay just one line will go suggest to have the $30 and we passed so we have a direct cost, let's go to the item card, we should have a direct cost of $100 and then $40 of freight and $30 of restock charge. So now our unit cost is $17, $17. item ledger entries, cost amount actual $170 and our value entries with three components direct cost and charge items <laughs>